right, so we're leaving the little town of Fintry behind and uh, it was such an awesome stay. Really, really enjoyed that. And now we're off to Edinburgh. Uh, we're gonna spend the morning there, get some breakfast, some lunch there, hang out a little bit. And then we're hopping on a plane in Edinburgh and heading over to Dublin. So today starts the Irish adventure. Check out these cool horses. All right guys, we are back in Scotland's capital of Edinburgh and we're just heading for breakfast. Amy found a place that looked pretty good. I don't remember the name. Do you remember the name? No. <laughs> Anyways, it is beautiful sunny today and looking forward to an awesome day. We're gonna head, I think after breakfast, we're gonna head up to the uh, Edinburgh Castle. So we're gonna see what that's all about up there. All right, we found the place. It is called Hula and it's on this uh, really neat street. Lots of shops all around here and uh, it looks really healthy, really cool. Yeah, good. Look at this incredible breakfast, you guys. Oh, that looks good. What's it called, honey? Acai bowl. An acai bowl. Oh, that looks tasty. <laughs> this is so good. There's a smoothie underneath here. It's almost like breakfast at home, except way fancier. This is so nice. Amy's got herself a uh, cinnamon honey hot chocolate amazing. This is a good breakfast. So in behind me is the Edinburgh Castle and uh, the Edinburgh Castle is actually one of the older castles around here. Um, they say that there was people dwelling here from 2nd century AD so like 200 AD which is just absolutely crazy but uh, really really phenomenal place. It's up on the top of the hill overlooking the whole of Edinburgh and uh, just an incredible place up here. We didn't go in because it's like 17 euro each, which is or pounds, yeah, which is like uh, 65 bucks or something for the two of us. So we decided not to go in, but we got to go up and have a look around pretty much close to being inside. <laughs> it was worth it anyways. Beautiful up here. You guys, check out these swords. Oh man. These are so cool. Amy's brother Adam would like absolutely love these swords. Well, actually, for that matter, her brother Aaron and her dad would all love these swords. Wow. Look at the handle on that thing. Oh, oh. oh please do not touch. Oops. <laughs> 1400 euro? Era. Two handed sword. I'm trying to figure out what that price is. I think it's 200 pounds. For the sword? Yeah. I mean, 120. 120 pounds? There's yeah. no way. I think so. 12,000 12, pounds. Maybe. It's actually 120. 120 pounds? Yeah. Really? The other one are all right, show you around a little bit more. This guy here is checking on the price of shipping for me. I can't believe it's 120 pounds for that sword. Wow. 37 pounds and 10 feet. 37 pounds to ship it? And 10 feet. And 10 pence, yep. Yeah. Wow, cool. Hey, Sanch, how would you like to play a chess game with these pieces? I was thinking about buying them, but then I saw it was 4,980 pounds. Maybe not. <laughs> Very cool, though. <laughs> wow. So this whole wall here is all Lord of the Rings stuff. There's Gandalf's staff. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> What's the name of the guy that has that club? I should know this. I'm not as big of a Lord of the Rings nerd as some people. Wow, cool though. I'm trying to figure out what the name of this church here is. They're calling it the Hub, but I know that's not the actual name of it. But this is, uh, this is a good representation of what you'd see in Edinburgh. A very, very sort of gothic type era. Pretty neat.
back to the Edinburgh airport. Next stop, Dublin. All right, you guys, let me fill you in of what's been happening in the last couple hours here. So we landed in Dublin and uh, my day was going good. I was uh, good spirits, everything was great. Um, then we get out of the airport, um, have to take a shuttle over to the car rental place, which was no big deal. Um, and then I went to the car rental place, uh, which I rented a car this time at budget. The last two times I've been with Europe car. Europe car was fantastic. Um, and then I had been told by a couple different people that uh, renting a car in uh, Ireland was really, really cheap. And when I rented it online, it was really cheap. I thought, oh, this is fantastic. And then I get there and they process everything. And by the time I add insurance and everything else on top, I spend an extra almost $500 Canadian. It just, uh, it just made me so mad. And then uh, they give me the car, I go out there, it's a little Nissan something. And it's just, it's old, it's all scratched everywhere, there's dents everywhere. And I was, I was very unimpressed to say the least. Um, I was, I was kind of ticked off at that point. I think I was a little bit hangry as well, which wasn't very good. Um, and Amy's already sitting in the car, all our stuff was in the car and I was like, I, I don't even know, I don't even want this car. But anyway, so I hop in, put my foot down on the clutch. The clutch is just super springy, like a really old car. And I was just like, you know what? I can't do this. I just spent almost an extra 500 bucks on top of the rental price. I, I can't do this. And so anyways, so I went back in like a real jerk and I was like, ah, sorry, I, I, I wanted to see if there's any other cars. So I, I look at a couple of other cars, Finally, we choose a car. Wasn't as good as the one in Scotland, but it was. It's it's all right. It'll do. Um, so then I was a bit grumpy because of that, uh, spending a whole bunch more money than I expected to there. And then we get out of there, um, and then the rest of the day started getting a bit better. So we uh, we got a little food, which helped. I'm starting to feel better because of the food. And then we drive way out into Drogheda. Um, I, I'm not saying that right, but. Drogheda is kind of near the town that we're at and I told you guys before that we're staying in a tower the Drummond Tower and um, We pull off the road and we start coming up the driveway and I, I got to show you this driveway Because it's it's something I can't even describe so um, maybe on the way out tomorrow or something I'll, I'll show you guys the driveway because it's 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 really cool anyways we drive all the way up this driveway and all of a sudden we get to this tower and all of a sudden, my day got a whole lot better. <laughs> so I'm filming this right now from the top of our tower. And I'm just going to give you a little tour view around here. Um, and then I'll take you guys down into the tower. This place is really, really cool. It uh, far surpassed my expectation. When I saw it on Airbnb, I was like, it's pretty cool. Like, it's definitely pretty awesome. But I figured eh, it's going to feel pretty dingy, kind of pretty old and cold and stuff like that every level so we're in this tower and I'll show you guys it from the outside and it's just this this little small thing and it's four stories and I'm up on the top story right now which is the upper deck and and every story has something on it and uh, let me just show you guys around here the view I don't know if I'm supposed to really climb up on this but let me see if I can hop up here so that's how tall the tower is and that my friends is the view from our tower. <laughs> How amazing is this? <laughs> I'm just blown away right now. Like it is so gorgeous. They showed a couple pictures and there's our little patio deck here. They showed a couple pictures on Airbnb, but this pictures did not do it justice. So anyways, just to show you the outside of the door, this thing has been fully restored and they've done a really nice job with all the finishings. It's gonna be a little dark in here when I come inside. I'll walk you down the stairs here. You have to be pretty careful walking around in here because these stairs are super steep. So you come down one floor, here's the bedroom, and it's, it's very rustic, but it's really well re remade. I'm a huge fan of the mix between rustic and modern. There's nothing modern in here, but they've definitely done a really nice job at all the finishings, all the wood and everything that they've put in here. Uh, really, really, really well done. Um, cute little bathroom, very small, but check this out. It's got a nice size shower, nice rain tower or uh, rain head, and every room has its own little view which is pretty awesome. 
and then take you guys down another level. This is the one I think they could have done a little better job at maybe. Um, the room is really neat, but the furniture is a little bit, like it's cool furniture, but it's very well worn. <laughs> um, but check out this old bookshelf. It'd be nice to have a little more light in here for you guys, but um, I'll have to have a look through, see what kind of books they have. Looks like they got some pretty neat stuff in here. Very cool. And then take us down another level. This will be the main floor and the kitchen is really, really cool. Amy's getting all set up. Are you getting rid of the bugs? They were alive. <laughs> what? They were alive still? Yeah, I sent uh -oh. them down the drain. <laughs> okay, check out the stove, you guys. A full size, like chef size, gas range stove. Uh, that looks like that's the fridge. Oh, wow, look at that. They got a little bit of stuff in there for us. And wow. Oh, look at this. Old china. Very cool. You got the heater there? Yeah. Cool. I'll go outside here. <clears throat> so all in all, there's the tower from the bottom side. All in all, very, very happy. That was an awesome surprise. That's definitely a good way to finish our first day in Ireland. It kind of went downhill and then now it just went way back uphill again. This is awesome. <laughs> What did you guys think of that driveway? It was pretty cool, wasn't it? Um, so we're back now, we just ran into town, got some snacks, Amy informs me that uh, calories don't count when you're on holidays, so we got potato chips and some sort of potato fry things, and some ice cream, and yeah, some good snacks. I think we're gonna watch a movie this evening and just hang out and relax. It's been a long day of traveling, um, so just, yeah, looking forward to getting a little relaxing time. And then tomorrow we're off. We are heading west across um, Ireland. So, yeah, looking forward to heading to the west coast um, to see what's over there. And cool little bit of history about this um, tower. This tower is actually initially built. It's called the Drummond Tower. It was initially built in 1858. So we're actually staying in a tower that is, uh, don't quote me on the math, 100 and like 40 years old almost. It's really old. This place is really cool. I'm, uh, I'm excited we found it. Um, this is my first time staying in kind of a castle. It's not really a full castle, but it's, it's a tower of a castle anyways. Yeah, pretty exciting. I'm very excited to, uh, to see what else Ireland has to offer. Um, we have friends from Ireland as well. And uh, we were going to meet them, James and Dee. We were going to meet them over here. They're over in England at the moment. Um, doing some renos on a house, but uh, they were they're actually coming over to Ireland um, In like a week and a half. So we're gonna miss them by a few days. They were gonna come over early didn't really work out um, But anyways, that would have been cool, um, but we'll have to see them next time um, Yeah, definitely looking forward to the trip. Let me know what you guys thought uh, down in the comments below um, And we'll talk to you guys soon